Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum multiplayer video. So, first episode, we kind of got ourselves established, well, I say we got ourselves established. We did a little bit of jiggery pokery, did a little bit of looting. In the previous episode, I also uh, highlighted that I died on my livestream, which is why I'm sitting on negative $250 at the moment. And, the good thing for me, my fame points are getting up there. I'm at 23, I'm still a nobody, but... Eventually, I'm hoping to get to maybe like 100, 150, something along those lines, just so I can start making use of the traders. At the moment, I've got no real use for the traders. But, I logged in, I realised that I was in a bit of a precarious spot. I was in a wee bit of a, a wee bit of a hard spot. However, you've probably noticed what's in my hands. I've got a block, I've actually got a 1911. And funnily enough, I found a magazine as well. <laughs> so I've got a, an M9. I've got my M1 clip, which is all nice and full. I've got my, I've got my arrows. I've got all that stuff. I've got my bow. I've got my bullets, and I've put plenty of 45 ACP rounds. I'm pretty much like I'm kind of okay for if I meet a player at the moment. At the moment, I think the server's about half full, so we may encounter a couple of players today. We may encounter someone here. Now, I did retreat back from the uh, the World War Two bunkers because. I wanted a better place to kind of log out from. It was fine, you know, logging up over there, up on that hill. And I need to be careful with my injuries here because I did in fact get shot on the way back here. I kind of logged in, had a little look around, got shot. And when I say I got shot, I get shot by a... I get, I get shot by a sentry. That's why I've got a C4 at the moment. And why I'm actually missing my underwear. And my uh, my scum t-shirt, my scum TV shirt, it's currently missing at the moment. And why I have <laughs> nice health number. <laughs> it's 69. Very good. Right. The plan today, the plan, the, my plan, my plan of action. We're not going to actually enter the airbase. We're not going to go into the underground part of it. What we are going to do is we're going to go further to the west. We're going to go up to the POI on the hill. There is a sentry there. However, it might be a little bit safer for me and what I can do from there is start making my way south. My intention here is to try to get to Bravo 4 Trader. At that point, I should have collected around a hundred, like maybe $250 worth. I can reinstate my classic card or my starter card at the trader, zero my account balance and start selling things, start selling important items that will give me a little bit of an edge, especially when it comes to respawning on this damn island. I need to take a couple of drinks of water here. Now the other thing as well, because this is half full and this is a quite highly frequented location, I'm going to have to be quite careful here. A lot of uh, a lot of players tend to come up here, surprisingly enough, because the loot's pretty good up here, and I, and I can see why. I have seen various, pe various people playing up here, I've seen various people on streams playing up here, and I've seen various videos from people that say that this place is the best place to go if you want to pick up some loot, especially guns, ammo, attachments, that kind of thing. And at the moment, they're not wrong because I managed to get myself a little 1911 and it's an engraved one as well. I would like to find a toolkit as well. A toolkit with the potential to turn a another 1911 into spare parts at which I can then clean my uh, my current 1911 and get it to 100% probably. That is my that is my hope. But before we do any of that, we're going to have a little look around this POI on the hill. Now, not really frequented this place as much. Not a uh, It's not really on my list of places to kind of go. If if you were to ask me, where do you play on, you know, multiplayer servers? Where do you tend to hang about? Where where, where is the place where you could find, you know, a Mr. Feudal? Well, you can find me usually in the Charlie sectors and in the Bravo sectors. That's where I tend to play. And I... A lot of people don't like them. A lot of people don't like the Zulu sectors. But I, I adore the Zulu sectors. Z0 to Z4. I love them. They're so good. I adore being in that location. It's always warm. So what you'll probably find is a lot of players not really wearing a lot of clothes. They'll maybe wear armour, but they won't wear a great deal of clothing. 
so you can kind of spot them quite easily. Uh, the other thing is, it's a little bit like this as well, it's a little bit like this. There's not a lot of tall grass, it's all, you know, kind of withered away, burnt away, and the only things that are kind of cutting about are these big shrubs, these things right here, and these ones right here as well. They're all the, that's all the concealment that you'll get from that location. So, finding someone, possibly just sitting in the, uh, oh, that was a beautiful shot. Kind of just hiding in the, uh, in the shrubs. Quite high. Right, I need, I need to kill her before she attracts more, more friends. Oh, come on, come through. Come through. Oh, she's silly. She's so silly. Tell you what, I'll go melee. There we go. I just want to squeeze through there. Nice. Right. Oh, there's a sentry right there. I need to get out of this perimeter fencing. So, I, as I said, I've not really frequented this place. I've not really been up here before. Well, I've been up here plenty of times. I kind of bypass this place. I don't particularly stick around in it. There's not a lot in it. At least not for me. Uh, but because I'm in a multiplayer scenario... Oh, shit! The bed! I knew that was going to happen! My resistance is futile and my fate is sealed. Listen, I'm already having a bad day. Hmm. I think he's stuck against the fence. He may actually be stuck against the fence. My character's actually overheating right now. Uh, feeling hot severity is zero. I need to find some shade. Is he walking away? No, he's walking directly towards me. Of course he is. Of course the sentry is walking directly towards me. I need to keep my head on a swivel here because there might be player bases out here somewhere. I have been told by a couple of people that I do know who, who actually play on here, there may actually be a couple of bases around me. Uh, see, it, it pays to have a set of binoculars. Right, I'm just going to run through here. I'll run over here. Come on, come over here. Come over here. Come on. Thank you. Just do them in a little stack, just like that. Go third person, just to see where our, our pal is. Oh, he's right there, okay. Switching shoulders. Is he coming back around? Of course he's coming back around. Of course he is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. I've already made too much noise up here. I think I'll just bail from here. I think I'm just going to bail from here. Oh, now there's something I could do. Hold on. Quonset huts. I'd like to I'd like to try and get to them, but I know I Oh. A plane, huh? Oh, I'm, I, I might, I might do it. I might go get that. I don't have a lot of skill in aviation. In fact, I have no skill in aviation. Uh, my issue is, is that getting into that plane, I need to worry about possibly two sentries. There's a sentry that walks on that side of the hangar, and obviously we've got this guy I need to worry about. So, mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, I don't feel like doing it. But knowing that that that's, that plane is actually spawned there and it's sitting there, mm, it's so tempting. It's ever so tempting. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna reject it. I'm gonna reject it. I'm not gonna bother with it. Instead, I'm gonna get moving. I'm gonna start moving. I don't want to be wasting a lot of time here. Delta 4 Airbo Airbase is a very good location for loot, but for, for for me, I don't have a respawn location. I'm kind of carrying everything that I own at the moment. <laughs> so, I need to be quite careful. I need, I need, to, I need to be on the careful side. I'd, ra I'd rather, I'd rather uh, play it safe than risk everything, really. Hold on. Now, that was a jump, sir. 
That was one hell of a jump. Well done. Even I'm jealous about that. Right, there's a little town up there. We'll go up to that little town. We'll see what's going on over there. Oh, that is well. Uh, thank you all for uh, for watching the first episode, but also thank you very much for uh, voting in the recent poll as well. Um, I did ask you guys, like, what do you what do you want to see from the multiplayer side of things? Do you want to see it for what it actually is, just raw, long, and uncut, with maybe maybe some editing and stuff like that? I also asked if you wanted them shorter, with more editing, but over over the course of more episodes. Um, you know, maybe just a little bit longer, with more more content involved in it, instead of just mindlessly running around. But a lot of people seem to see seem seem to think that it's good as it is. So I guess we're just gonna hold to it. We're just gonna hold to it. Right, we've got a little town here. Now my thinking is that there might be players here. My thinking is that there might be players here. So I'm gonna get my gun out. Gun is out. I hate how I need to constantly seek shade from this bloody sun. Right. I'm gonna run through a couple of these buildings and see what I can find. Usually there's a vending machine. Nothing in the vending machine. Of course there's not. Of course there's not nothing in the vending machine. Why would there be? Why would there be anything in the vending machine? Especially in a you know a deserted island owned by Tech One. Hosting a show? Why would they why would they put food on the island? That's just stupid. Okay, it's just a it's just a puppet. I heard I heard footsteps and my immediate my immediate reaction was gun. Gun at ready, go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's just having a good time. He's just he's just wandering about. He's just wandering about, he's just doing his thing. Right. Let's have a little look around, see. Let's go to the next floor. I would go inside the bathroom, but there's nothing there's generally nothing in there. Or usually there's nothing in there. I'm also looking for all the money out of these um these mattresses and beds and stuff like that. I need to try and get this account zeroed. At least at least zeroed because uh I have been notified by the uh, the owner of this this uh, this here server. <laughs> there is permadeath, and you don't have to die that much uh, in order to exact permadeath. So uh, I need to be incredibly careful. <laughs> I need to I need to actually play this game. I need to play it like strategically and try and not die. That's going to happen though. I will die in this series. I will die plenty of times in this series. To other players, to my own mistakes, uh, to, to, to these things. I will always die to puppets. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a thing. It's like a match made in heaven. Me playing the game, including, you know, fighting against puppets, I'ma die. Ooh, cargo drop in D3, huh? Headshot. What I would like to find is some form of transport. I would like to find a mode of transport. A bicycle would be good by now. Like, a bicycle would be very handy right now. I'm currently on a hill. So all I'd be doing is cycling downhill. <laughs> Something that I used to do a lot. <laughs> I, used to ra I used to race downhill mountain bikes. I don't do it anymore. I, I certainly still could, but not anymore. Not anymore. Don't have anybody to ride with. I'd be on my own. It's not safe to do that. Uh, I like. I really like the red one. I like the red one. I, I'm not a big fan when it comes to the color green. I like red. Red's my favorite color. Red's my red's my color. Red and black. Red, black, grey, uh, white. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of all like the t-shirt colours that I've got in my drawers and it seems to be only four colours. So uh, yeah, red, black, grey, Bur oh no, five, five colours! No, that's red as well, because burgundy is a, is a shade of red. Oh, it's just a puppet moving inside. I, uh, I had a mild panic that- oh look, I said I wanted a mode of transport and it gives me a mode of transport, but it has no capability of actually moving. 
Let's check the roof of this place, or at least the, the church tower. Anyth oh! Ah! Yeah, that'll do! So now we've actually got some proper arrows, we've actually got carbon broadheads, we've got metal arrows, and we've got carbon arrows. This is good! This is really good! I like this, I like that I came in here. I really, I really enjoy that. Right, let's have a wee nosy at this. Okay, it does have an engine. Uh, it has one, two wheels, it's got no, it's got no rear wheels. Uh, by the looks of it, it doesn't have a battery. Do you have a battery? You do have a battery. Okay. We have, we have an alternator, and it has a car seat. Okay. Um. Maybe, maybe we could. We could. Is there any? Is there any garages in this little town right here? Any garages here? If there's no garages, we'll just we'll just dip. We'll just leave. Okay, I'm not I'm not too I'm not too fussed about that. Not too fussed about the fact that there's an, indeed a puppet here. Now, where is he? He's making Oh, he's out the back. Did that hit you? Yoink, yoink, give me that. Oh, I actually missed him. Okay. I don't suspect there's any garages here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way south. But knowing that that, knowing that, that Volkswagen is right here, and it does in fact have two front wheels, I could, I could try and repair that. I could try and turn that into a functional vehicle. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There's there, there's no there's no there, there's no guarantee, but I'll maybe do it. Right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run down here. We're gonna run to this next town, but we're gonna stop off in this little location right here. So it shouldn't take me a minute. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've not made it just yet. We're only a couple. We're only a couple of hundred meters away from it, though. Um, but I've just realised something. I have just realised something. I am in line with a World War II bunker, and I know exactly where it is. There it's right there. There it is. <laughs> I didn't even- I totally forgot that this was here! I had totally forgotten that there's a World War II bunker uh, located within Delta IV. Totally forgot. To totally skipped my mind. So we're gonna have a wee nosy on it. We're gonna have a wee look. A wee look see. See if we can find anything. I'd like to try and find what have I got? An M1 Garand would be quite handy right now. Because I've got plenty of 30 out 6. An M1 Garand. Okay, it's just it's just puppets. I I freaked there. I heard footsteps and I was like, <gasps> gone out the ready. Right, M1 Garand. Garand, come on, show me the Garand. Is this an open it is an open. Right. Okay, that's not what I want. A couple of little little deposit boxes right here. Nothing in them. Come on, give me a garand. That's a good find. That's a good find. Another magazine for the 1911. That's really good. That's really, really handy. That'll make life a lot easier for me. Pair of combat trousers. 762. That's for a Mosin. That's 762 by 5.4. Right, come on, Garand. Come on. Garand. That's good. Another clip. Another clip. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill that. I'm going to fill that clip. Because uh, if we if we encounter... If we encounter another uh, bunker, we might find ourselves... With a with an M1 Garand, which would be really really good. I would really really like that. Right, we've got two two clips loaded with tracer rounds. Not the best rounds, but still good. Still st still still winning. Right, I'm gonna deal with the glass cannon first.
fact, that's all I need to do. That's all the puppets I need to deal with right now. But there is a World War II bunker right there. So that's that's so handy to know. That's genuinely so handy to know. I totally forgot that there's actually way more bunkers than I think in Delta 4. They've obviously got the whole bunch that are around the Delta 4 airbase. But the one, the one with the coastal battery is literally on the hill facing towards that town. In fact, there's the town right there. There's the town that we're going to. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you want a World War II bunker in Delta 4 that's not near the airbase, right there. That's what you're after. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. I'm just inside this bush, taking a little bit of cover, taking a little bit of stamina in. But, if we look over here, there it is. There's the town. Now, this is where things can get a little bit spooky. Just a little bit spooky because uh, there's a storm rolling in now. So visibility might go down low, maybe? But so far, I'm less, uh, I'm going to be less spotted, like, you know, I, I won't be as easily spotted, I don't think. At least I don't think I will. I'm trying, I'm going to try and be sneaky as much as possible. Like, right now, I'm just going from bush to bush. Just finding cover and stuff like that. Lots of concealment. Ooh, there's a, there's a target right there. Police station. We could just go to the police station. We don't necessarily have to go through the whole town. I'd like to try and get to that kiosk over there. There's a few kiosks here. I might be able to find some uh, some potential food. Let me just scout around the outskirts as well because usually there might be someone looking in here. Uh, I don't see anything. Right, okay. I'm gonna go in with my gun. Gun drawn, ready to go. If anything bad happens, it happens here. <laughs> It's going to happen here, because this is a this is a notable little town in Delta 4. Right. We're going through the PD first. And we're not going to use the doors, we're going to climb in. Oh shit, maybe we're not. Maybe we're not going to climb in. Hi, pal. I said we're not going to use the doors, and I, I go and use a door. <laughs> Three arrows is all it takes, or two arrows, really. Are you guys silly? Did they jump through? Ow. Of course they jumped through. I wonder why they didn't jump through. Oh. Oh. Oh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Let's go. <laughs> right. I think... I've only got enough for four. Now, there's four here, and there's... I believe there's two or three around here. Character's kind of hungry as well. There's only two here. Okay, we need to uh, we need to pick and choose what we're going to be doing here. I might just do the four. Is that a level two? Is that C two? No, it's a C one. That's fine. As long as it's a C one, I'm not too phased. If it's a C two, then it's a problem. We end up bleeding. We end up bleeding a wee bit too profusely. Uh, there's more seven. Seven six two repair. I can hear him walking upstairs. Not fussed about that. He can walk around upstairs if he wants. I'm going to check upstairs though, because there might be... There is also the potential for um, locked containers up here. And being upstairs is a lot safer, in my opinion. There's only two up here. Okay. Where are you? Last thing I need is for them to know that I'm here. Right, we're gonna go through all the all the lockers here. We might find something half decent. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. 
We'll take that. That's that's all right. Not the best, but it's all right. Uh, money, money. I need some money. Money, money, guy. Money. Oh, money, 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 money. Hundred and fifty-two dollars. We are on another fifty dollars, and we're, we've zeroed the account. Another hundred dollars, and we have zeroed this account. And it doesn't look like we're going to get any more money here. Which is a little bit sad, but it was all right. Oh, pink booties, huh? What I would like is a bigger backpack. I feel like I've been stoning about with a wee baby backpack for ages now. No. Now, there's no guarantee that we'll get anything good out of these, but we have to try. We have to try. We have to see what's in them. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's not particularly good. I've only got two more of these... Uh, Two more of the screwdrivers left. I'm gonna go here and do this. Do these ones. Right. That's one down. Number two. I said I was gonna do the fourth through in the other room, but may as well just do these ones. Right, we got nothing out of that one. Oh. Now, that's something. That's, that's, that's something. An AS Val. I'm nowhere near anywhere that would hold the ammo for that. Ugh. I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch this actually. I'm gonna ditch this right here. I would not normally ditch something like that. I would usually keep it, but I don't have the means to keep it. I don't have the ammo, I don't have any of that. Sure, I'll probably end up finding it. That's fine, that's all, that's... Hold on. I'm just going to stand in at this olive tree and just eat these. Because we need to eat something. And we may as well eat stinky olives. Ugh, I don't like olives. I don't mind... I don't mind filled olives. Don't mind them. Because at least there's something else that's got a taste to it. But olives by themselves? No. Nah. And a lot of people say, as soon as you learn how to like olives, is that's when you're actually an adult. Eh, uh, no. You're, you're, you're just beige. I'm sorry. You're beige, you're bland, you're boring. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. It's, it's, it's not the, it's not the accolade of being an, an adult. It's the accolade of someone who just likes to eat cardboard. Because that's what olives taste like to me. Cardboard. And yes, before I see anybody in the comments being like, You know what cardboard tastes like? Yeah, of course I do. I use cardboard daily. Sometimes like, a little bit of it will get in my mouth. Oh, oh double headshot. Yoink. I should be going through all these buildings, but I just want to kind of glance by them. I kind of want to go to the, uh, the garages and stuff. Oh, hold on. Jump up on this, jump up on this. The garages and the kiosks is what I'm aiming for at the moment. Uh, ooh, bo booties, booties, little booties. Ah. Right, another little garage over here. Garage, garage, garage. What we got, what we got, we've got Rager seat. We've also got a portable stove and we have Rager lights. I, I keep forgetting that we actually have modular ragers and how the, fa the fact that we will find a lot more headlights than we will anything else for the ragers. Oh, yoink. See, so... A pan, or sorry, a pot. Hold on. Nothing in there. Damn it. Hi! I got really close to him and I don't know how he didn't hear me. Oh, do you know what I could do? I've just realised something. I'm in a particular location where there is a boat spawn. Hold on just a second. 
There's a boat spawn around here somewhere. I'm very much exposed. Oh, very much exposed right now. I didn't even hear her until the last second. That was a. Uh, <laughs> that was a wee bit odd. Oh, my character just decided to crotch shot himself. That was pretty cool. Uh, ooh. Some pants. What have we got in here? The cleaver. The cleaver, boys. We've got a cleaver. I'd like to find a backpack. I can't tell if there's actually a boat over there. Cannot tell if there's a boat over there, but we're going to check. There we go. Check if boat, if no boat, leave. Boat. 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 No boat. No boat. No boat. Shocking, no boat. Oh, money though. Yeah, my character's a wee bit hungry at the moment. Mm. Gonna need to find something a wee bit more substantial than sodas. Gonna need to find more something a wee bit more substantial than sodas. Something a wee bit more substantial than bloody olives as well. Ugh. Gives me the ick. Right, we're gonna leave here. We're gonna leave here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start moving to that. That hill over there. I just noticed the puppet spawned in, in front of me. Die. Die. I mean, those arrows, loser. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move to this place over here. There is a World War II bunker over here in Charlie 4. We'll probably aim for that as well. Because these World War II bunkers are actually providing me a, a, a decent amount of stuff so far. This is what I generally do when I play multiplayer games, or when I play this game in particular. I don't tend to go around towns. I don't tend to frequent around, you know, the city. Oh shit. Run. That's the good thing about leaving a couple of puppets there. That's the good thing about leaving the puppets there. Some of them act as some of them act as mines, and as soon as you hear them, it's crying out like that. Mm, you probably got another player there. There's probably a player there with you. So I'm gonna keep my ass moving. I'm gonna stick to the bushes and hopefully I don't get spotted. Last thing I need to do is get spotted right now. As I don't want to die. I don't want to get killed. Right. We are going to move for this town in Charlie 4. From Charlie 4 we're going to move south and probably cross this bridge here. In the very centre of Charlie 4. Alright ladies and gentlemen. We've reached this little town. Now this, this is the bottom section of this town. This town actually goes up the hill a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom work our way up. Now, I've not really scouted the area at all with the binos, but we're just going to go in. We're just going to have a little look-see. Let's see what we can find in here. My hope is that we can find some food. My hope is that we can find some food. Even if it's just a little bit of cheese, or you know, a cucumber or something. Preferably not a chopping board. I'd like to just find some... Oh, there we go. Some celery. Eat that. Celery that definitely doesn't look like that. Celery doesn't look like that at all. That's not That's not a cel celery look. Take that. Be able to turn that into a, a nice little uh, improvised sewing kit. Mmm. That'll do. Yeah, we nosy through here. Let's see what's in here. Nada. Nothing. Nothing. You talk too much, and I missed. You talk too much. Silence. Be quiet. You scream. Okay, he's up there. 
Oh, that's the police station. Headshot. Headshot. Easy. Right, jump through here. Uh, I don't like opening doors, it's so loud. Wait, did I just put those shoes on? No, I didn't. Cool. Uh, huh. I panicked there a wee bit. I said, whoa! <laughs> don't put the shoes on. Keep your boots on, you loser. It's a very interesting looking painting. Why are those things, why are those kids so small and this guy, this one's so big? Is this a giant? I know it's supposed to be a perspective thing, but it makes it look like a giant, look, you know what I mean? Look, look, this giant child and these tiny little children over here, like, ah, he's a freak! Right, it said I wouldn't open doors, and I'll go and open doors. Right, we'll go have a wee th look through the police station. Oh! Oh! Well, that's them all triggered. Oh my god, they are well and truly triggered. Silence. Silence. Whoa! Oh. Silence. Oh, SF-19 magazine, huh? That's pretty cool. Right, I need, I need them to come inside, because I'm not going outside. Give me my arrow, please. Upstairs. Onto the roof, because there's one on the roof. She just about headbutted me. Right, I think we're clear. Apart from the idiots downstairs, and there's a little base right here. A locked little, uh, little something something. Right, guys, can you shut up, please? Make so much bloody noise. Thank you. Oh. Right. Peace and quiet. About bloody time. Screaming their bloody heads off. Making everybody aware of my position. I wonder if that person's actually online. Maybe I could, uh... Maybe I could pull a sneaky. You know what I mean? Just, uh... <clears throat> we'll wait for them. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. That'll probably end up getting me killed, but... That's something I could do. I could wait them out. I could wait them out. Uh, they just have a couple of locked doors, and I did see a crate inside there, like a big crate, like a medium-sized crate. So they could have stuff in there. I don't know how many locks are on that either, so I'm not, I'm not interested in trying. Not even remotely interested in trying that door. I mean, either door's probably got like three locks on them. And uh, I, I don't have the means to get through three locks. I probably never will have the means to get through three locks. I'm not that good at lockpicking. <laughs> Why did these... Thank you. Thank you. That's what I needed. How much money have I... 244. 244. We're almost there. We're almost there. Almost in a zero amount. We'll be able to zero this account. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, God. God, yeah. Yeah, that'll do. That will do. Oh my god, about time. About time. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got an assault backpack. I'm officially a happy boy. I'm a happy boy. Everything about this has just become so much easier. Look how much room I've got in that backpack. Look how much room I've got. Look! Loads of room! Get none to worry about any of Right, now we can start moving to the upper area. But there you go, a little upgrade. A little backpack upgrade. I like that, I like that a lot. I'm feeling pretty hot. I'm pretty hot. Just, just saying. Just, just, just 
seen. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Joking, getting on. Character is sweltering right now. This little place right here is a marketplace. Usually has some stuff in it. Let me just sit in here for a second. Let's get rid of that for a second as well. Fifteen rounds. And a M9. Boys. Improvements. We've already got an improvement. There's already one in the chamber. That's sick. But that's good. This is perfect. So I've got one pistol that's 15 rounds and I've got one that's uh, 7 rounds, I believe. So I've got a backup. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Oh, I put myself in a wee bit of a precarious spot. I don't like going down alleyways like this, little corridors like this. Don't like it at all. Because anybody could just peek their heads out, or they could be right behind me as well. Oh. If only you had two wheels on. If only you had two wheels. And I, I will probably expect the obligatory... Why does that door sound like the uh, the Call of Duty Zombies like mystery box opening up? Because that's that's what everybody refers to that that sound as. Didn't really look that town. Not too fussed about it. What I'm more caring about right now is getting away from it. I'm more in, I'm more interested in finding some food at this point. Preferably, I don't know, some apples, some pears. Possibility of. Onions, or... I'll settle for olives, I guess. I guess I'll settle for olives, but... I don't know. We'll see. Let's just get ourselves to this bridge. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We're at the bridge. Now, bridges are dangerous in this game. The main reason they are dangerous is they're a choke point. Especially when I'm down here. This is the first bridge out of a variety along this stretch of river. But this is the very first one, and I think, going by what people have told me, this one's probably one of the more dangerous ones. Mainly because people try, try and camp it. They try and camp it really hard. Back when I used to play on official servers, they used to mine the hell out of these bridges and destroy vehicles and kill players. It's all sorts of good stuff. But, um... I don't know about this server. I don't know if the... I don't know if mines are just locked to the flag vicinity. Or if they're actually placeable outside of the flag vicinity. I would imagine that they've set it so it's flag vicinity and not uh, you're not able to place them outside your flag. But we'll, we'll find out in just a second. As soon as we get to that, that point, I suppose. The other thing is, um, again, this is a well-used bridge. Because there's the bunker right there and there's a bunker right there. So they are, they are literally a, like a single road between them. So this is a good little loot run for some pe some folk. So let's get uh, let's get a little bit closer to this bridge. I'm also gonna have to think about getting some food. My character's down at 27% uh, hunger at the moment. So this might be uh, this might be a do or die mission at this point. <laughs> right. If I was gonna get shot, I'd be shot by now. Right, hold on. I always like to check the bottom of these uh, these shrubs here and see if there's actually any movement. Right. This is just an open run. This is a straight open run. Across this bridge here. I'm, I'm really hoping that there's nobody camping this bridge. Right, go. Go, 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 go. Peel off to the left. Couple of bunny hops. Thrown. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. There's no problems. No problems. No problems whatsoever. Whew! 
I'm not going to lie. Playing multiplayer is, is a lot different from playing single player. Obviously, because I'm playing with other players and they can kill me at any point. I mean, I've killed one player already in the server and I <laughs> already, I'm already scared to think if they're going to come after me or not. Um, the other thing that I'm quite scared of, and I mean, I used to play Tarkov and stuff like that. I, I don't have gear fear in Tarkov, but I've got gear fear in this game and I don't know why. I know I can just respawn and get the same stuff in like in a matter of minutes. Or through a good like hour or two of gameplay. I don't know what it is. It's just it's just a sudden sudden death in this game that that puts the fear in me. I'll get over it. The more I play this, uh, the more I play this series, the more I play multiplayer, the more I'm used to it. Uh, no, hopefully, hopefully I get used to it. The better it'll be. That's the whole thing that I would tell new players to just kind of work with. Just work with the fact you're gonna get killed. You you will get killed if it's not if it's not players. It's gonna be the environment, and either way, you're you're gonna get you're gonna get done by something. There's there's something out here that's gonna do you, and it's not gonna be fair. But when you watch it back, it's probably like, oh shit, I kind of made that mistake, and that's how they saw me, or like I stepped on a mine, or I was too close to a flag, or something. There's always an explanation. Unless it's so, unless it's cheers, then we don't talk about them. <laughs> we don't talk about them because they're losers, right? Heading south here. We're gonna connect up to this road. I would eat those mushrooms, but I don't want to go through psychedelic phases. I think this is also a place that I used to build a base. No, it's not. It's not. I lied. Oh wait, that's Ramson. That is Ramson right there. I can eat that. Be nice if it could give me some. Right. Ramson. It's literally just a pissy leaf, but a pissy leaf's better than nothing in my stomach at this point. Okay, we're almost at this little town right here. This little town's pretty it's pretty good. It's usually got a few things about it. I tend to frequent it a lot. It's not a bad location. It's just kinda open. That's the only downside to it. Obviously have a little look, see if there's any any movement. Usually you might see a player. Usually usually you might spot them. Bear in mind, I bet you a lot of most of the uh, uh, sorry. Let me reword that. Most of the players that you'll probably see in this ever are probably playing in the Bravo sector, because it's right in the middle and they get you can get to everything from there. Uh, I don't necessarily think a lot of players will be playing around the C sectors, the D sectors, etc. In fact that's a lie I killed someone up here. Like in this area. In Delta 3. But I think that was just because he was going back to his box. He probably loots around, you know, around this area. Loots around the Bravo sectors, the Alpha sectors, Charlie sectors. Flies his plane into a relatively safe spot. I don't know. Right. Oh, see, before we do anything, is there a base on that hill? Because that's, uh, that, that's a good place to build a base around that, uh, around that church. I've not seen a great deal of bases on this server. I've not seen a lot of them. I know for a fact that there are a few big ones. But I myself have not seen any small ones. I've not seen any modular builds. I've I've only seen two meter high wall builds. And they aren't like... They're designed for keeping things in. Not for kind of holding a player. If you know what I mean? Like a car or something like that. Loot, etc. There's the fact that I don't also don't hear any puppets is kind of worrying as well. Oh, there is loot. There's bolts. Means there's nobody been here, or they've just not been inter interested in the loot here. I'm gonna shut that door. Right, there's a puppet there. At least I'm, at least I've, at least I've got company. At least... That's a puppet. That sounds like a puppet. I'm hoping it's a puppet. Uh, I'm really hoping that's a puppet that I can hear. If it's not a puppet that I can hear, I'm going to be kind of panicked. Oh yeah, it's a puppet. Shit. I didn't want him to aggro. That's not what I wanted. I just wanted to hear and see if he was there. 
feeling slightly warm. Right, we'll just chill here for a second. Right, where do we want to go from here? Probably, uh, we'll just go directly south. Yeah, we'll go directly south. Uh, there is the town here. We could go to that. There's a World War II bunker here in Charlie 4, I believe. So there's one up here in Delta 4, one in Charlie 4 here. Uh, we are only one sector away from the trader, so we may as well just make the effort and go. Just make the effort, just get to it. We'll sort our food situation and maybe when we get to the trader, or maybe when we get to the town. Right, I'm going to keep soldiering. In fact, we can soldier right to here and get ourselves some more olives. <laughs> because there's lots of olives right here. Okay, olive tree. Olive tree, olive tree. No olives, that's shocking. Not a very bountiful harvest. That's a third tree that's rendered useless. Tree number four, useless. Tree number five. Useless. Useless. We are getting no food from this location at, at, at all. I would eat the aloe vera, but it's not gonna it's not gonna do much for me. Right, we are going to keep moving south. So we're probably gonna meet up at this little bit right here, which is a farmstead. I need to get across this road quickly, otherwise I'll get killed. Couple of bunny hops just to get me going. There we go. Right, there is a farmstead just down this road, so I'll see you there in just a second, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. We're here. As usual. Scout. Scout the area. Have a little look around. See if there's any movement in the trees. Any movement whatsoever. Anything. Absolutely anything. This is a small location. That building right there holds food. Uh, there's a few uh, there's a few farmable items here that we could probably pick up as well. Make use of, because my character is currently sitting at 18% hunger. So we're on our... We're on a food run at this point. It's not so much loot at this point, it's all food. We just need food. I just need my food and that'll be me. So we're just going to run in. I'm just going to go for it. Balls to the walls. Let's go. Slow down here. Get the gun ready. Quite overgrown this area. It's just a normal puppet. Right, search around and see what we can find. Already got one of those. Switch to the bow. Through we go. <gasps> sugar? Icing sugar. Yeah, my character is hungry, man. Oh, yes! Yes! Food. Right, we're going to eat this here. Uh, did I not pick up... Ah, raisins! I can eat my raisins first. Eat some dried out grapes. <laughs> <laughs> this will ho hopefully give me a little bit of a boost. This potato will certainly give me a boost. 142 calories. I'm just going to eat that. I will get food repulsion from this, I believe. Oh, maybe I won't. Yes, I will. If I can get this 100%, I'll be fine. That's fine. 60%. We are only up to... 50% on that. Cool. Right, we're going to eat all of this garlic as well. So, a gar some raisins, some garlic, and a potato. That, that, that was my, that was my meal right there. I can still make a meal out of these things, so... Zonked. Dead. Can't be standing out here too long. There we go. Have 
a little look, see what we can find. Right, come on. Food, 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 food. Duct tape. Money? No money. Shocking. No money. There's a chicken coop over there. We could probably find eggs. Money? Nothing. Yee. Leopard print. Miss Kitty. <laughs> right, have we looked through these? Is that a carrot? Nice. I'm just finding things to fill my stomach with at this point. It's not so much... I'm not really caring what I put in my stomach at this point. It just needs to be filled. Headshot. There we go. Jump over here. I think I need to go into those two buildings there, but I'm going to go into the, bar the barn and see what's in here. Usually you can find an apple or something in here. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. Turns out I can't. You can get eggs from that and some some feathers. Right, I'm gonna walk inside this building right. Ooh. Oh. Bicycle. Come on. Come on. Oh, bitch. Straight up missed. Why are you aggressive? Oh, don't be aggressive. Don't be aggressive. Don't be aggressive. Stay dead. No aggression. Just dead. I don't need anything out of here, actually. I don't actually need anything from this part of this town. This is a plum tree. No plums. This is a cherry tree. Cherries. Cherries. No cherries. That's fine. We got some. We got some food here. We did get some food here, so we're already in a positive. Did she hit me for a C two? Oh, it's an exha exhaustion C two. That's fine. So long as it's not a bleeding wound that's at C two. I, I can't. I can't be having them right now. Down to 92% of my health as well, which is fine. It's all right. It's not perfect. I mean, one one bullet and I'm dead anyway, so not too fast. Uh, this is where things get a little bit dangerous. Um, we are getting closer to the trader. We are getting closer to locations where people will no doubt be camping. They'll no doubt be waiting for players to just show up to just rock up to a location. Specifically, the trader. And, uh, and gun me down, so I need to think about how I'm gonna do this and we're also right beside a very prolific uh, bunker this is not in fact an abandoned bunker, this is a standard bunker, which means anybody can get inside, anybody can do you know, the whole loot inside of things and it's pretty much easy to get into you don't have to deal with razors, and uh, yeah it's just a, it's just a classic uh, aband uh, a classic uh, bunker. I was about to say abandoned bunker, but it's not abandoned. Go front. Take some water. What about my metabolism? We are doing. Oh, I need to. I need to do what I think I need to do. I need to poop. I need to poop. I apologise for the sounds that are about to happen. There we go. We're good. We're all right. Oh! Look at that! He was nice enough to give me some candy. He was nice enough to give me some candy. Right, we'll just eat that. It fell out of my fart box, but you know what? It'll be fine. Maybe a little bit on the stinky side, but we're good. It's all dandy. It's all good. It's all fine. 
All in the name of survival. You know what I mean? Even Bear Grylls can agree with that. Right, there's nobody up there. I thought there was somebody up there for a second. I mean, this is a stupid idea going up this, but... Mm, there might be something up here. You never know. Uh, there's hazelnuts. That's that's just more food. That's perfect. Right. I'm not going to bother with that, that bunker. I'm going to get to the trader. I need to get to the trader. The trader is my target. Hmm. If I can get to there, I can, it's just a straight shot to it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. I need to get there in order to get get the benefit of having my account zeroed. And also getting some money. Because I desperately need some money. <laughs> I need some. Even if I only get a hundred, it means that my... Uh, it means that the next death that occurs for me is only going to be like $150 or something like that. If I can get $100 profit out of this, it just means that I'm going to be living for a lot longer than I think I am. <laughs> I just have to get away from this location. See, as a lot of people will probably point this out, I don't play multiplayer in a particular fashion like everybody else does like a lot of people like to stay close to the action they like to stay close to like other players they like to see like they you know, like to see other players around them whereas me i like to stay away from them and i'll only engage if i have the upper like you know the upper hand the advantage the only reason i had the advantage on that guy with the plane is because i literally proned up crawled straight to the plane waited for him to feel safe and then I took my shot. Now, bear in mind, that w that was a lucky that was a lucky find. All I'd all I'd have to do is be like maybe one or two minutes late, and that guy would have had a gun ready at my head. But he didn't, so I play to my advantages. And the way that I play the game is sneaky. Sneak around, stay out of stay out of like you know, stay out of line of sight. Try and be as concealed as possible. You know, don't don't make yourself known, basically. I just thought I heard an engine there, that was kind of worrying. For example, I am bypassing this little town right here. Normally I don't do that. Normally I wouldn't do that, but my my intention is to get to the trader. That's my whole intention right now. Wait a bit of We're getting there. We are getting there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop on the traders just over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop on this hill. There we go. Stop on this hill and we'll just survey the, the grounds, I suppose. Usually you can see some people kicking about. Because this is a trader, there will be people leaving, there will be people arriving. You never know. You never know who's kind of just waiting for you there. There's the main road right there. That leads to the town, which is right there. And then further afield is the trader. Right, let's keep moving. Ladies and gentlemen, I had no idea that this was here. I had no idea that this was here. I didn't even realise this was here. This must have been a new thing that they've added into the game. I have not been to this location. This is where we are on the map right now. We were originally over here. That's where we surveyed the ground. But right now, there's there's a bunch of hunting stuff here. There's actually some military tents right here. I've never been to these. Right, I'm going to get my gun out. I've, I've genuinely never been to this location. Genuinely. Never been here in my path. Oh. Cool. Cool. Go. Cool. 
Oh, you beauty. You absolute beauty. You beauty. Oh, so good. Grab whatever's in here. Pop tarts. They're good. They're good for food. That's more money. That's more money. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Right. Repair quickly. Repair quickly. Repair quickly. Quick, 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 quick. Right, gun back out. Soda. Nice, nice. Little, little, <laughs> little white frillies. A backpack, right, we're moving. I've actually got a quiver, boys. I've got a quiver. I've got a quiver? I've actually got a quiver. Oh my god. This is really good. I don't like this though, because I know what's about to happen. The game is going to rip this from me. Oh gosh, guess what? <laughs> the game restarted. <laughs> or not the game, the server restarted, but we move. We keep moving. We keep moving. Super jump, super jump, super jump, let's go, let's go. Oh, here we go. I've got a quiver, I've got an assault backpack. We are now, I'm officially like, I'm sorted. Like, everything about this has been perfect. This has been the perfect storm for me right now. Everything has fallen into place. Nothing has, well, I say nothing, nothing has gone wrong. I kind of died in a previous episode, but we're still, we're still in a positive we are still in a positive and this whole episode this whole episode is me running from Delta 4 all the way to the trader in Charlie 4 or Bravo 4 sorry I'm hoping there's no other players around here I'm kinda on a hill I'll be able to get spotted here if I'm not careful right last little survey around this area because I don't particularly like it when I run into an area and I'm, and I don't know what's going on around me. Right, nothing going on here. Usually you would hear like a roar from the puppets in that town, and I'm close enough to he I'm close enough to hear it because I'm very I'm, I'm pretty mu I'm pretty much at it. It's right there. Um. Ah, oh God, I I just hope that there's no players in my way here, or if they try and come out and I meet them there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna keep to these bushes and walk all the way up there. That's where I'm going, right there, right to that red building, right there, because from that red building, it's not that far from the safe zone. So, whew, wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Wish me luck. This is where things. This is where it gets a little bit intense. There's I don't think there's anybody around me, but there could be. There could be one, it could be one person with a rifle. It could be a car, it could be a motorcycle. It could be a duo coming out of the trader zone. It can be absolutely anything at this point. So I'm gonna get my gun out. I'm <laughs> gonna keep my gun. I can't be slacking right now. No slacking. We keep moving, we keep running. I'm glad that I've used this character in a 3-3-3-3 setup. Uh, so all of my attributes are at 3. So I'm... I mean, endurance-wise and speed-wise, it's all, like, medium. So it's medium medium endurance and medium sprinting. So I can sprint for a, a decent amount of time. I just have to try and get into the trader zone. Safe zone. We're closing on it. We're closing on it. We are indeed closing on it. Hold for a second. Just have a little listen. See if we can hear anything. See if we can see anything. Get my stamina back to about 75% and then we'll start running straight in. We're right beside the trader zone. We're right beside it. Go. There we go, we're on an outpost at Bravo 4. We can now 
chill the hell out. Oh, <laughs> we made it. We made it. What a run. What an absolute run. We ran from the top of Delta 4 all the way down to Bravo 4 on a single episode. I am a cross-country runner. Oofed. <laughs> and the good thing is we can actually start like thinking about selling some of this stuff. I'm going to sell the 1911 engraved uh, because the M9 just carries more capacity. And even though 9mm is not 45 ACP, I've got double the amount of uh, bullets in this. So it only makes sense to do it that way. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to drop into the... We're going to drop into the arms deal dealer. And we're going to trade it up for uh, for cash. Right, sell. Nothing registered. <laughs> Kidding. Nobody cares. Sell that, sell that, sell that. We're already in a profit. Sell that. How many compasses have I got? I've got two compasses. We're going to keep the one that's 83. We're going to sell that one. Uh, sell <laughs> we've got money we've got money right we're going to sell the uh, mm, no we're mm, did I keep them one clips I think I should keep them I think I should keep them this is going to go down into my tactical holster uh, we are going to sell the 45 ACP rounds though uh, more 45 ACP that's going to get sold sold uh, these metal arrows can get sold because I want to just use carbons and broadheads because they fly better. Uh, one thing that I can... can Guns oh, come can. unloaded. Security reasons. Obviously. Weapons unlock at fame 50. And compound bows are at fame 100. Alright. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. We've still got a big positive right now and that is the money side of things. Um, I'm gonna keep my bullets down here. What? I, mm, what, what? Can I? Can I get past? Can I get any magazines? Can I get magazines? Oh, magazines are at seventy-five. That's rotten. That's rotten luck. That is such rotten luck. I'm just getting registered. I'm just gonna sell these gloves for zero because there's no point in keeping them. Nobody cares. Okay. Have I got so two sets of binos? No, I don't. I keep pressing escape because I think it's the... There I keep go. thinking it's escape to get out of that, but it's not. Put that there. Right, we'll go over to the general trader. General trader's just over here. And then what we'll do is we'll have a little nosy at the bank and get ourselves a card. Hi, friend. Welcome, welcome. Here's what I've got. Yes. Let's see what you have. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Uh, sell you. I'll sell that one. Yeah, we'll sell it. There you go. Right. Miss Impossibles. Miss Impossibles. Biggest fan right here. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, creep. You and your cactus. You and your, your phallic looking cactus. A loser. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. At least he's polite. <laughs> he's a polite loser. Or a polite creep. <laughs> right. Um, right, he didn't want any of this, so I'm just gonna drink that and yeet that into the into the ocean where it belongs. Gonna eat these toaster pastries and that beer can get skyrocketed. There we go. And drink all of this, and then this will go into orbit as well. Into orbit. There we go. Connect these together. Put that up there. Keep that one down here. Cool. We're looking a lot better now. Feeling a lot better too. This is good. This is positive. I'm liking this. Right. Let's just get a basic. Greetings, valued customer. Hi, friend. My cards. Uh, classic card. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Two. <laughs> yes. Uh, return back my card. Two. Submit. Uh, deposit. I want to deposit one six five five. Deposit. Yes. Uh, would you like another transaction? No. Eject card. And 
we are going to destroy. Because I want to. Because it means if I get killed, that no, all they need to do is go like through, like the sequence of numbers on their keyboards to get that card. So I'm destroying the card. I've got money in my account. Everything's good. Everything's everything's dandy. Everything's dandy. Right. Now that we've done that, I can start thinking about maybe looting Bravo Four. Or maybe even going into Alpha 4. And that's probably a good place to stop as well. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be episode 2 on the Scum Multiplayer series. I hope you have enjoyed it. I do understand that it is a little bit boring at the very start. We need to get ourselves established. There's a lot of running around to do. There's a lot of looting to do. There's a lot of things that I need to get in place before I start doing the cool stuff like raiding and shooting other players and doing bigger POIs with more risk involved. But this is just going to be a couple of, you know, some introductory episodes to get you guys bedded in and kind of understand that Scum, at the very start, at least in vanilla settings, is quite difficult. It is quite a difficult process. You do need to think about where you're going to build a base, you need to think about your fame points, your account balance, your gold balance, you need to think about all of that. All of that stuff. And you also need to take care of your character. Food, water, items to use, a bow, a melee weapon, potentially a gun. You need to think about all these things because when you're out there beyond these safe zones in Charlie 2, Bravo 4, uh, Zulu 3 and Alpha 0, there's nowhere for you to really hide unless you're inside one of the caves and you've done a very good job of like fortifying your base. But this game is unforgiving, but it's also very rewarding at the same time. For example, I mean, for God's sake, I've just ended up with a nice quiver and a nice assault backpack. I am looking well and truly tricked out right now. All I need now is some half-decent armor, maybe a decent helmet, and I'll be set to fight anybody. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today's video. This has been, a, it's genuinely been a lot of fun. I hope you have enjoyed it, and if you have, leave a thumbs up on this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And hey, if you want to stick around on a Sunday night, we usually do a live stream. And usually we play scum. That as well, it's not just scum. We sometimes even play other games like Dark Tide, Stalker, those kind of games. As well as some Warhammer 40k mini painting because I'm a big fan of Warhammer 40k. I've got a tattoo of Karn the Betrayer on my leg and I'm soon to fill my right leg full of chaotic symbols. It's going to be a lot of fun. But that as well ladies and gentlemen, if you've not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Ring the little bell to stick to date with videos just like this and even more. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm out of here. As always, I've been Mr. Feudal. See you all another time.